I'm Jeanette Kane from Jewelry Arts Inc. This is Chasing in Repose 15 and in this video I'll show you how to finally attach that bail. So I put a little bit of ochre to protect my previous seam right here. I'm, I'm going to be soldering like right next to it but sometimes it's uh, better just to be a little precautionary. So I'm going to slide my bail in although now is the time to decide which side is going in the front. I think it's going to be this one. Although this, the whole point of this piece is that the enamel will be in the front and the rep saying to be back, so it should look pretty good either side. But we're gonna do like that. And then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna kind of like tuck the two little ends together so they have a little contact, you know, a little like this, a little like that, something. And then just put a little bit of solder there to close it up. And if it doesn't look good, then I pull it off and do something else to it. See how that looks. Hmm. Maybe I'll use my chain nose pliers and squish them together. It's a tiny bit more, but that's more or less uh, what I'm going for. Yeah, I think that's it. Ugh, I hate using ochre though. Um, Cause I'm using the same solder pretty much throughout this whole thing here. Cause at the moment, um, I don't want to go any lower than the 18 pink and I'm still working on the higher melting one. I'm being a little extra protective of my previous seams. Cause also a jump ring that's up in the air like that um, that's not supported, just loves to remelt. So I may also take a third arm and kind of support it. Anything up in the air, even sometimes when you would think, oh, it's far enough away, that little bastard loves to reflow. So I'll probably do something like this or this. Because essentially when you're trying to protect things, you just get it as far away as you can, which in certain cases is not very far away, but. Oh yeah, there it is right there because that way I can put a little ball of solder right here and heat right here and draw it in. I'll add a piece or two. So that should be fine. So I've got the ochre to help protect this and I've got a third arm also there. Because you know, that acts like a heat sink. I'm gonna switch it out to a zero tip though. I don't wanna point that great big tip at that. Funny, but long.
lot of times if I warm it up a little bit, I can get the flux to act like a little bit like glue because I really want the solder on the side. Let's see if I can get it to cooperate. Heating both sides. And there we go. Okay, so now there's a contact point there, so I'll probably just stick one more piece to make sure that you know there's a strong enough joint. And with any luck, maybe I'll be done with uh, the metal working. Okay, my little baby. All right, I think that'll do it. This time I really will clean it up and take a look and make sure there's nothing else that I need to solder.